This video is going to be specifically about testing the EcoFlow Glacier under what is more normal conditions and I'm going to try and show you a bit more of its features. Uh, if, if, you've seen the if you haven't seen the previous video, I kind of torture tested this in terrible conditions. This time it's going to be a little bit different. I plan to do this test showing uh, ice making and I pre-cooled this water inside it but then it started freezing so we're not going to use that. We're going to use uh, different water and what I'm going to do just to show you this feature, it's showing the EcoFlow currently with a single compartment running at minus 25. I'm going to divide it up into its two compartments. You simply place this in and that automatically sets it up for two different compartments which you can adjust the temperatures on. I'm going to collect ice to this test as much as I can make. And uh, let's set the temperatures for the water. Easier to do it on here. Set the temperature for water up to zero degrees. I don't want it to freeze. And I'm going to set the temperature for the other compartment to minus 15. So it's shutting off now. We're starting with a full battery, but I'm going to unplug it. So we're not going to use AC power or any power for that matter. We're going to see how much ice we can make from one battery while keeping the ice cold, accumulating the ice and uh, simulating kind of a fishing trip. So let's start making some ice. We do that. This is the ice basket. That is the ice maker. You make ice by pouring water into the ice maker. It has a level indicator there. I'm going to fill it up to its max. I'm going to tell it to start running, making ice. Which you can do by either pressing this button there, or you can tell it on the phone to make ice. We'll leave that running, of course. My camera is not going to be able to capture all of this. Full battery is going to probably last a couple of hours while making ice. So, important. This can easily reach minus 25. It's been running outside there for a short while now and it's reached minus 25. But when you're making ice, you're lose, using a lot of the refrigeration capacity of the machine to make up the ice, which has an impact on the temperatures in the, in the cooler box. Over the short term now, because it's been running much colder, it doesn't need anything to keep this cool, but we'll see over a couple of batches of ice, it will probably reach its set temperatures. Well, we'll see about that. So let it run. First batch is usually longer. It takes about 18 minutes to make the first batch because it has to cool down that water. The water was cold. Refrigerator cold, kind of cold, but uh, we'll see how it changes over time as it gets into its stride. It's come down to one minute to go. Temperature, I forgot to show you the temperatures. 32.5 degrees. So it's detaching the ice. So what I'm going to do for this test, I'm going to have to remove it. Detached. I'm going to Accumulate the ice here. One of the things that I missed was this hole. I didn't even see it. One of the kids showed me that that's ideal to dump the ice out through. So we'll start another batch. Large ice starts. It's already down to 91%. So the ice making is taking a lot of energy to do. Now it's showing 14 minutes to the next batch. Uh, the water is cold now. It should be going faster and faster. The, uh, the claim in the sales uh, information, whatever it is, uh, is uh, says it can make ice every 12 minutes. I suspect that's going to be on the smaller cubes. I'm making large cubes. We'll do a test on the smaller cubes 
on the next one to see the difference. All right, so we're coming up on the second batch. Uh, still 32.6 degrees. Now 10.30, Let's run, let's run a small ice cube cycle. We can make ice. Let's run small start. Let's see how much time it takes. It says 12 minutes. So that's where you get the 12 mi minutes in the sales, uh, sales pitch. The warm compartment at 0 degrees has now gone up to 0 degrees. The cold compartment that's set at minus 15 is now at minus 12 degrees. That's, where, that's also where I'm storing the ice that I'm making. But let's let it run. We'll get back to it. Right. So these are the small ice cubes. I'll give you a comparison. Let's get it going again and then I'll give you a comparison. I'm going to do large cubes again. Small ones are not that much smaller. I mean, there's a difference for you. Large, small. The battery is down to 77%. We have 40 minutes. So 40 minutes for 23%. So you have, if you're running the ice maker only of the battery, it seems like you're going to have about two and a half, uh, 240 minutes, what's that? Now 40, 40, that's 80 minutes, 160 minutes, so you have just under three hours of continuous ice making. So the ice making is low, using a lot of power. I would suggest if you're going to use it for ice making, have a solar panel up. And that'll keep it fully charged. But we're going to continue until the battery is dead. I'm going to shut the screen on the side down because it's too much work to download all that footage. I'll just accumulate it and in the end I'll show you uh, every time I pour off the ice and the accumulation of ice. Start it again. Alright, another batch of ice. The battery is down to 59%. Temperature in the compartment still at about set point. Needs a little bit more water. Temperature is at 33 degrees still. Alright, another batch. I'm running it with a big size ice block all the time now. So this means I have to empty it less times. Let's see how far it gets, down to 40% battery. And it's now 20 to 12. Right, so I've had to recharge my main camera. Temperature has gone up to just under 35 now. There's a little bit of ice forming in these holes at the bottom. There's a little bit of ice floating around. Let me drain it out quickly. So how, how cleaning the ice compartment works while we're about it, is you open that, it drains it. The water in the ice compartment is getting to the temperature where it's starting to freeze around the ice compartment. Right, so I just flushed it out with some room temperature water. Put the drain pipe back. Put the ice compartment back. Ice basket back. Start it up. So starting with the warmer water, or well, it was been at zero degrees, so not really warmer, but it will take a bit of time probably to get it to freezing again. So yes, it says 18 minutes. The battery is now at 21%. We're going to run it down completely. So it's now at uh, 12, 12 past 12. We started at 10 o'clock. The battery of the refrigerator is low. Please turn to eco to prolong cancel. I don't want it to go to eco. That's nice to know that it's now uh, detecting a bit of a problem. You can see there it's still keeping. This one is actually at minus 2. Probably because I had it open. This one is at minus 11. But let's see how far we can push it. And then uh, once it runs out, I'm going to plug it back in 
and see how long it takes for the battery to charge fully back up. It's really asking me to e go to eco mode now, we're not going to do it. We're going to let it uh, go as far as we can. So this is batch number this. I've attached all over. I think it's been thought through pretty well. We're going to make one more. Battery is at 13% as you can see. So what we're going to do, I'm going to see how far it can go. But we're probably close to the end now. It's 12.28, so it's about two and a half hours. And in two and a half hours we managed to get, this is the three liter jug. It could be more. And this is full. And then I'm going to charge it off the solar panel, see how long it takes for it to fully recharge the battery while it's actually operating. And we're going to continue the operation. I missed that signal that it was done. Let's see if it's done. Uh, it's making small lights, I think. It's decided that the battery is too flat to continue. They are small cubes, but they count. Not enough power to detach. We'll let it finish. I'm going to switch, to, uh, move it over and plug it into the solar panel. Solar panel set up there. I want to check it with the solar panel. I could plug it into the AC, but I want to check it with the solar panel. It's starting to charge it up. It went down as low as 2%. Still operating, but barely. And we're going to give it a few minutes just to start getting the battery back up. It's now up to 4%. Let's give it 5 minutes. Right, so while we're waiting for that, uh, it's almost 5 minutes. We can might as well try telling it to make ice. Five minutes, four minutes, three minutes, it was three minutes. It's up to five percent. And it's making ice again. While we're waiting for that, I want to check how much ice this is. So these are all the tall glasses I have. Eh? It's, it's now 35 degrees. So these are all the tall glasses I have. I want to check how many glasses we're gonna fill up. Right, let's call that what? 11 tall glasses and a beer mug full of ice. So just over 12 glasses of uh, ice. I hope that gives you a good idea of what you can expect from it. Battery is up to 6%. Next batch of ice in another 12 minutes. We will continue this test of ice making to uh, completely simulate, let's say, a day at the lake or a river or uh, the beach or something, but with the solar panel at this stage. It's up to 18% now, it's 13.25. I've forgotten that I pressed making ice on it and just realized it a couple of minutes ago. So. There was a question in one of the, in the previous video about if you leave it, what happens to the ice? And it appears what happens is that the ice grew bigger. It, so it keeps it cold, it's not going to come out. I have to tell it to detach the ice. And I can see more layers. The, the ice has grown to the point where the ice cubes are touching each other. You can see there, much bigger ice. You can see there, big cubes. Uh, but it's also started forming ice at the bottom here. I can just knock it off. Might prevent it from seating properly. So maybe it's not best. You can leave it. It will keep the ice solid. But maybe it's best not to leave it like that. I'm going to keep on making ice. I'm going to set that down to, let's say, minus 10 and set the other compartment down to... So, let's see if it can bring down the temperature while making ice. Outside, outside temperature is still around 35.4. Batch done. We're going to do a test now. I'm going to tell it to start again. It wants me to remove the ice. Okay. So you can't start it, so the question that was asked whether you can start it without 
removing the ice to make it bigger no because there's a switch you have to lift it up and then they lift clear and they float up and the other question is can you make ice with ice still floating in the compartment yes you can let's see what it looks like let's see what it does so it's going up to 36 now 35 well 35.8 and you can see it's taking 16 minutes instead of 14 so i think the the higher temperature is taking its toll but let's see what it does another batch of ice the ice i left the previous batch of ice in the basket i have to release it so this is what happens when you leave the previous batch of ice in the ice tray a bit jumbled up and start it again right so it's at minus four and minus ten degrees the two compartments all right another batch of ice I want to show you it's now up to 38.6 degrees so the temperature is now climbing fast all right the temperature is up to 38.8 fridge has reached the set temperature minus 10 and minus 24 we still have enough water we might fill up water what i can see is that if you leave it after it's finished making ice and you just leave it it keeps the ice cold it doesn't the ice doesn't melt again it doesn't stop making them it keeps keeps them cold but you start getting problems with ice accumulating below the tray and uh, we've got it's beeping at me to remove some ice i do think it does say 16 minutes i do think at 38 degrees uh you can expect it to, to take a little bit longer than it would at lower temperatures and i'll test it at lower temperatures as well it's just difficult to achieve lower temperatures in this area at this stage i think with this we're going to conclude our ice making experiment yeah, we've made now two of these three liter tubs worth of ice all right so there we have it the combined ice for today minus what i've used i think two beer mugs full is this now if you go into a shop liquor store or whatever you buy ice buying this is like i don't know i don't know even what the ice cost a couple of rands and it's easy you can buy six or ten bags of these but Two bags of this when you haven't seen a shop for five days and you're out in the desert this is worth gold anyway that's what you can expect from uh, 10 this morning my uh, 12 what's it now 5 30 yep 5 30 exactly that's what you can expect i think with that we'll conclude the uh, experiment with the ice and we will continue with experiments and tests and i'll make more videos but i think that's going to be the video for today and we'll see you on the next one cheers